If you're new, my name is Elisa and this is my project, A Heart Remembered. This project is about drawing somebody who has passed away and giving it to one of their loved ones as a, hopefully as a surprise. If you want to support my cause, subscribe down below. I would truly appreciate it. Today I will be drawing Christian Mitchell. Christian is one of my friend's brother and personally I haven't met him but when she was talking about him he seemed like he was so full of life and just funny. I hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. He was 29 when he passed away. He was a goofy kid from the very beginning, just always, always smiling, always trying to be a clown just to lighten the, whatever the situation was. Um, he can get really deep and kind of, you know, kind of conspiracy theorist towards the end. We have some conversations where we talk about lizard people or, <laughs> or outer space or Egyptian history. He was really interested in, in that kind of stuff. So he was old soul. He seemed young, but also very, very wise beyond his years for being my baby brother. <laughs> we're six and a half years apart. We went through our ups and downs where we were really close, but a lot of times he, you know, I was always the annoyed bigger sister who was having to watch my brother or take my brother with me. Me and him and my best friend, Jen, where we would, you know, walk to the movies or walk to Taco Bell or just ride our bikes or be playing around. You know, those are my memories as a, as a, as a kid being happy and free, you know. Love, it was a love-hate relationship for sure. And one time I was babysitting him and he was being annoying as usual, doing something. And I was being a little brat myself saying, I'm gonna tell my mom. And he threw the house phone at my face <laughs> and then ran out the door. Of course, being a little scaredy cat because he knew that I would beat his ass <laughs> or try to anything. <laughs> so yes, that's, uh, but I did love my brother. Anytime we would fight, we'd always, you know, we wouldn't have to be told by our parents to like apologize. Like we'd find a way to apologize to each other and just move on to the next fight or next joke. <laughs> Cause it always, it did happen a lot. Like the age difference, it's a blessing, but it's also like, I wish we were kind of closer in age um, where I could kind of, you know, we could understand each other more. It seemed like when I was a teenager, he was figuring things out as a kid. And by the time he was a teenager, I was a young adult, you know, and we were trying to just figure it out. We had a chow chow, a black chow chow named Moses, uh, who got his name because when we had him, when we first got him as a puppy, it was the only time we were allowed to have him in the house, so he was in a basket. My mom is not an indoor pet kind of person, so all of our dogs were outside, but we would sneak, um, you know, like Friday night or something, and I was off. Uh, my mom was working, I'd order some pizza, and we let Moses in the house, and we'd just, you know, we'd watch movies. We would always, like, like have our, like, little secret. We had, like, a lot of kids in our neighborhood who were my, well, more my brother's age, so he was always, always just a social butterfly kind of person. It's kind of hard to fit him into one, one box. He had this Barney Rubble laugh. Like it does remind me of Barney from the Flintstones truly. <laughs> like this Jeep, just like, <laughs> like this, this chuckle. He always just try to just, just try to just make you happy. Just try to just bring light into, you know, if, if my mother or someone was feeling kind of upset, he would do whatever he could to just say something positive or uplifting or just kind of off the wall, goofy, just make you think like, what, what are you talking about? So we can just start debating or just, you know, kind of having a, just a weird conversation that you can only have with Christian sometimes. <laughs> when he, I guess when he died, uh, people were, some people dropped by my house just to say, you know, give their condolences. And they're like, oh, is Eddie Bo's house? And we're like, Eddie Bo? Like, who's Eddie Bo? <laughs> I guess that was one of his nicknames um, with his friends, Eddie Bo. I don't know what the significance of that is, or they call them dreads. Sometimes he'd do his own, try to clean up his hairline and he'd jack it up, but the dreads always look cool. And then I had like at the tips, he had a light brown or golden kind of honey colored at the end.
He always tried to just be positive. He even said like the strong will survive. He's like the wisest will survive. I don't think he had any particular saying, but he could always kind of just say something thoughtful. It seemed just beyond, you know, something an older person, someone who's lived a couple lifetimes would say. I struggle sometimes to see past just him being gone so young and just so suddenly, even though he was sick for a couple years before he passed. He, he loved with his whole being, you know? He gave his kindness to others before he gave it to himself. And I wish he, you know, I think we're all trying to be on a path to love ourselves. Sometimes it happens later for others. And I think he was trying to do that. He accepted it. He accepted the possibility of him dying young. I think he felt cheated. How can you not? Being a uh, given our condition, you know, part of it was genetics, but he, he still was trying to live his life. He didn't just, he had his moments of sadness and he shared that when he, when he could, but he, towards the end, he was out and about just living a life like, a, you know, a late, someone in their late twenties would be out and about with his, with his cousins, with his family. And he, he never would turn his back on people that truly he loved and just seeing the people who, who've, called or came by the home or you know did posted things online of just just good stories and memories that I mean just that just shows um he'll, he'll live on you know beyond the you know 29 years he was here I, I hope he does you know he'll live while people tell stories of him think of him and I miss him very much <laughs>